What's good YouTube? Welcome to Proctor House Rock Wallace and today we're going to be setting up our whelping room for our female princess. So as you guys can see, we are in the car again. I decided to come to the tractor supply that's around the corner from me. Um, I did do a video on this same tractor supply a couple days ago, so if you guys missed that, uh, go tune in and watch that, that video. Had a lot of information in there. I actually did a Q&A on that also. Um, but yeah, decided to come back here. There was a small dog kennel that I feel like would be the perfect size to fit inside of my uh, my whelping room um, to keep my adult female separated, or let's say since I still do have Achilles at the house and uh, Princess is going to be having her puppies within the next seven to eight days, give or take. Um, I do not want those, you know, him to be able to, or well, I should say, I don't want her to be able to get out of her whelping box and potentially go mess with him or vice versa or in the future when I have, you know, two females. Um, pregnant at the same time, we're able to keep them separated and safe at all times. Um, and then also, like I said, I'm going to be setting up the whelping room. Uh, I set it up before for our, our uh, unique litter, but I still had to use that room as my office also. So I don't know if you guys seen where I had the desk at where the, uh, what is that, my uh, incubator is on. That is still a huge L-shaped desk. And it's still taking up more than half of the room. So we're going to get rid of that because it's so hard for me to keep it clean because I'm still doing all of my paperwork for my other business uh, with that desk. So probably about two, three times a week, I literally have to go back and clean it completely. So what we're going to do is get rid of that big desk, um, bring it, probably go to Ikea or even Walmart and get a cheap desk. So that way I can still have a place to do some type of office work, but nothing that's going to you know get cluttered up and a lot of mess. And then I'm going to get um another desk or table or something small to put my incubator and organize you know all my puppy towels and all that good stuff a little bit better than what i got to organize now um but like i said we are attracted supply so let's get inside uh i know which one i'm gonna get already like i mentioned but i will check out a few other uh kennels and stuff that they have there just in case um there's something else i can find better but let's get to it and they actually have the dog food today but I'm not gonna get any right now but i'm just happy to see that they actually have it in here and then they actually have multiple options not as much as the uh the cow rat store that i go to but it's still an option just to get some dog food really quick close to the house if i ever need to come get you know a single bag if i get super low and don't want to drive that long distance i'll be able to hit that um but okay that's not it that's a 10 foot by 10 foot probably don't even yeah i'll well, take the basket but yeah, I've, I've always, I thought about trying to do something like this to use this wire and I've seen other breeders use it too um, for other reasons or something outside to keep the puppies in and stuff. But you guys see, man, this wire is super flimsy. It's even beat up right here. And I know for a fact, you know, if there's a reason why one of my females need to jump out the kennel or I mean, wanted to jump out the weapon box, they definitely gonna knock that down. But for 75 bucks, man, that would be nice to be able to uh, make this work. But I don't even want to risk it. Don't want to risk it. Don't need to, any of my dogs getting hurt. Trying to protect their puppies or something like that. But And it don't look like they got anything different from the last time I was here. So I am probably just going to stick with what I know. If they still have it here. And we'll just go with that. Hurry up and get back to the house and start setting up this whelping room. Okay, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Make sure it's the right... Four and a half by four feet. Yeah, this is perfect. Got the pet door in there too. Like I said, this is going to be just for the uh, the whelping room to keep the uh, rider to go around the whelping box. So it ain't got to be super big before you guys get to saying, oh, that's not big enough for a dog. It's going to be big enough for my whelping room to keep them in the box. Okay, yeah. actually heavier than i thought so i'm gonna get this loaded in my basket and then uh get checked out and i'll tap back in when we get back to the house so we just got the special delivery of our new whelping box we're gonna get in the house get this all set up all right guys we are now in the whelping room as you guys see i'm on a whole different side of the room uh, i went ahead and got rid of the uh big fancy uh, office desk that i had in my old office space before covid hit um obviously when covid hit uh, we brought everything home got another office space um and decided just to move everything to the house completely. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna have my puppies and dogs take over my office. 
Uh, but they ended up doing that just because I took a little bit longer to build the whooping house outside than I had planned. Um, but I will say it is very convenient um, having the dogs inside the house in my in my room just because in those nights, you know, well not even nights, those uh, early early weeks of uh, when you whelp in a litter um, and you got to be in there making sure they're, they're eating every two hours. Uh, I couldn't imagine having to go inside and outside the house every two hours uh, to feed those puppies and make sure the mom is, is doing well, you know, going to use the restroom and all that kind of good stuff. Um, so when I do whelp, make a whelping house, and this is for everybody else, if you guys do have an outdoor whelping center, please be sure that you may leave enough room to at least fit a twin size bed in there because you will be in and out of there 24 seven in the beginning um, stages. And as long as, as long as the whole process goes as far as those uh, taking care of those puppies, but the main time you're gonna be in there a whole, whole lot is gonna be those first couple of weeks when you're feeding them every two hours. Um, but yeah, went ahead and put the whelping box together. Um, got the new uh, kennel, the wrap, the protection to keep uh, you know the dogs separated because I will have um, another litter coming up pretty soon. I will be announcing that uh, in the next coming up weeks. Um, so it is another banging litter. Just know it's going to be something crazy. Um, but yeah, so we got that in. I wasn't able to record the process. Um, how I protect my carpet in here because I still do have carpet. I don't know how many litters the carpet is going to last, but as of right now, um, the carpet went well with Unique, had no issues, no leakage. I will show you guys uh, the stuff that I do put down on the ground to make sure everything stays clean. Um, went ahead and got a new, well, I shouldn't, say, yeah, I got a new desk. It's going to be, that's right here, uh, just to keep the, uh, the uh, incubator over here so it can be right in between. I probably will end up getting a big, bigger incubator that I can put some type of splitter in there, maybe a glass one. Um, just because I will be having, I will be whelping multiple litters in here. Um, and if there's ever a time I got two to three litters, I wanna be able to at least um, fit all the puppies inside of one. And if not, I will be able to uh, split them in, in either or of the uh, incubators. Um, but yeah, let's get close up on this. I can show you guys uh, the kennel, the whelping box, show you the material. It's really nice material. I'm actually happy I went with this uh, whelping, whelping box. But yeah, let's get over there. So here is the new whelping area, or I should say the new version of the whelping area because I will be swapping out my other whelping box and that is gonna be the official uh, playpen area. This is the puppy's whelping box. I love the material. It's uh, let me get this open. Um, it is that hard plastic, super hard plastic. Um, I already let the puppy play, you know, try to chew on a little bit, and he wasn't able to damage it. So I'm happy about that because I know the wood ones get chewed up really, really quickly. He's already been chewing at his uh, wood play area now. Um, but I will say I'm happy with this. It was quick and simple, easy to put together. I wish I was able to record it, but like I said, I didn't have a lot of time. Um, <clears throat> and then the, the kennel. The protection little cage. Uh, I can say that I actually like this a lot. I don't know how long I'm gonna keep it in the whelping room though, because I do wish it was a little bit taller. Even though I know my females can't, uh, they, they they aren't gonna be able to get out of there. You know when they're obviously pregnant and nursing and stuff like that, they're not gonna try to jump out of this. But just in case, you never know. Later on down the line, let's say when those puppies are five to six weeks old and those females are starting to you know get a little bounce back, a uh, little pep in their step and they want to jump out of here. I just want to make sure I can keep them separated. On top of that, I don't like that I have to always open this to get inside of it, and I don't want to be you know, leaning down to get up under there at 24 seven. You guys see, I do got a little wall art. Shout out to my wife. Uh, she got me this right here for my birthday. Uh, we do have a big banner that's actually gonna be, that's, uh, that's being made right now, and it's gonna go across this whole wall. Well, let's say this little back from the window there to the uh, corner of that wall. So we will have a nice banner there. Um, you guys already know incubator. Um, love this thing. If you guys are a breeder, you do plan on having, even if you only do one or two litters a year, I would say invest in a nice incubator because it is a lifesaver. We got our young pup Achilles over there, six weeks old. Um, doing great, super playful. You know, you guys will get an update on him. We call it a pup date here. You see that boy? <laughs> Big old excited boy. So we just got Princess in here. Show you her laying down on her nice little area for her. <clears throat> she actually loves it. She's getting acclimated 
very quickly. Let's go ahead and get in there and show you her belly. I know she's gonna try to come out. And you see, this is what I'm talking about. I gotta get used to not being able to uh, get in here going that way. It's pretty simple to, to get in and out of here. Hit that latch right there. You gotta come over here and hit this. Opens right up. What's up, mama? You guys can see, belly's getting big. She's growing great. Super loving girl. Trusting, she trusts, she trusts and loves me like crazy. I haven't had her, uh, I haven't even had her for two months yet. Oh yeah, I can feel puppy right here. That's actually pretty cool. You guys probably won't be able to see the movement, but there's something right here. Yeah, he was definitely popped out. Yeah, that's definitely a puppy. I feel him moving now, but, um, <clears throat> but yeah, we love her here, man. She's an excellent female. But I want to give you guys a quick update on her before I show you guys uh, the material I use um, in her whelping box. Yeah, make sure that's clean. She is doing well though. What's up, mama? Look at her, big girl. <laughs> Excellent lover. What's up, girl? Happy female. So for the floor layer, um, the bottom part, I use this clear um, plastic protector. You would typically see this, uh, probably uh, painters use this to make sure the floor doesn't get uh, any paint on it uh, or any liquid. So what I do is I lay a layer of this down, double wrap it down there, and then I come right behind it with the tarp you guys see I'm not the thickest tarp nothing super crazy expensive either uh, i got this tarp at lowe's for like six bucks um five mil thickness like i said nothing crazy um we throw that on the top on the middle layer i should say and then i'll show you what we got right here and then this is the material it's like uh it's turf like but it's like the, the thinnest turf you can find um but it adds the extra touch to your kennel and it absorbs moisture. So when they do, um, or I should say it blocks moisture, it keeps moisture out. Um, so when you are when you are delivering your puppies, obviously you got fluids and stuff coming out. This stuff right here is an extra uh, protection layer and it looks nice, it's comfortable to lay on, but that is the material that I use to keep that down. Um, obviously we're nowhere near done with the uh, whelping room. I actually bought a microwave in here too. Um, I'll show you guys the microwave. It's a little cheap Walmart one. I think I spent like 40 bucks on it. But my wife kept complaining to me because obviously you got to warm up um, the puppy milk. You got to warm up. The, well, I warm up uh, the milk and dog food together now that he's older and he's eating, you know, harder mush. We're almost getting close to just, you know, throwing dog food in water and him going to, to grab it. We still want to keep it nice and soft for him with this, this little tiny baby teeth. Uh, super sharp, but you always want to protect those. Um, but my wife, she kept complaining, saying that our, our, our microwave smells like dog food. So went ahead and got, got a microwave to bring in here. So I'm not sure where I'm going to place it. Um, but you guys obviously will see that in the future once we get, uh, once we get the welcome room completely done. Um, but we are about, let me see, about seven days away um, from Princess having her puppies. Uh, give or take, probably seven to nine days, give or take, because uh, we did breed her. Uh, multiple days um, but we're super excited about this litter um, I've been seeing a lot of top top uh, iPods litters dropping uh, lately so I'm hoping that we're able to put together something super nice uh, with princess and iPods which I'm, I'm, I can guarantee we we will um, I've already seen uh, some puppies in the past from princess and they were crazy puppies Crazy bangers, just like her, huge, big body, big bone, big head structure. Um, everything that you guys are looking for in a Rottweiler, obviously, if you guys are trying to get a dog from me, that's what I, you know, that's what I, I love and like about this breed. Um, so, we will be able to get you that. Like I said, we have another litter. Um, we're going to be doing the breeding in the next couple, probably about a week and a half, because she just came in the heat yesterday also. Um... And that is going to be a surprise female for you guys. Huge, huge surprise. Crazy, crazy top. Uh, world renowned producer. Proven all around. Once you guys see who she is, you guys will know her automatically. Uh, for a lot of people who are in the dog world, as far as uh, breeding and stuff like that, looking for quality. She has produced a lot of, a lot of top studs. 
um, across the world also. But as you guys know, Achilles just turned six weeks old, and it's time for him to get his first set of shots. Well, his first set of shots, so we will get his shots going, and then I'll do a, a nice little video clip and have him on my new uh, little pop-up desk that I bought, just a little Walmart cheap one. It's because I know it's going to be getting a lot of uh, spills on this desk. All kind of crazy stuff when you're taking care of multiple puppies at one time. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get him on this desk right here. Get a nice video of him. So let me go grab him, get the shots out, get everything ready. And we'll tune right back in. So here is our pup. Six week old puppy. Achilles Von Proctor House. Oh my gosh, this boy loves the play so much. As you guys can see, we have been practicing with stacking him out. <laughs> Relax, boy. There's a whole lot of play. Need to get his little treat, huh, huh buddy? Huh, buddy? Huh, buddy? A little rough boy already. Loves to play. Since he is a, a solo puppy, he only gets to rough play, obviously, with me, my wife, and my son. Um, so, he loves it. And we've already been teaching him, uh, you know, how, how, uh, how hard he can bite down, you know, when it hurts. So. Biggest thing is you want to make sure that there's not any air inside of your syringe. There we go. And just like that. <clears throat> That is the easiest way to give a little puppy a shot. It'd uh, be a whole lot easier if I had somebody to help me too. What's up, buddy? This little boy loves a play. What's up? Everything of a typical Roddy pup, for sure. <laughs> What's up? What's up? What's up? Relax. But yeah, that is the end of the video. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you guys do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, and make sure you hit the bell and turn all post notifications on so you can get notified when we drop every video and reel. Also, make sure you guys follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Proctor House uh, Rottweilers. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Look at that. Little boy's a lover right there. But yeah, appreciate you guys tuning in, and we are out.